automatic climate controls. This is the panel you'll use to set the climate control system. It is made up of three multifunction controls and nine buttons. If your vehicle is equipped with this climate control system, the controls may differ, but the functions are similar. Please see the owner's manual for more information on your climate control system. If your vehicle is equipped with a display screen, pressing the status button will display the heater and air conditioner status screen. The auto mode may be used all year round. To turn on, press this button for automatic cooling or dehumidified heating. The indicator light illuminates when the system is activated. Set it to the desired temperature. It will automatically regulate and maintain fan speed, airflow, and temperature in the cabin. The auto function can be turned off by changing the fan speed or by pressing the defrost, mode, or auto buttons. To reactivate automatic control, press the auto button again. Your vehicle has separate controls for the driver and front seat passenger. The driver's temperature control knob will set the temperature for both the driver and passenger if the dual control button is not activated. Turn the driver's side temperature control knob left for cooler or right for warmer air. If you want to adjust the passenger side temperature independently from the driver's side, press this button marked dual or simply turn the passenger side control knob. The dual control indicator light will then illuminate. Turn the knob left for cooler or right for warmer air. To switch back to driver control, press the dual button again. If in dual mode when you turn your system off, it will resume dual operation when turned back on using the auto button. If you want to change how the auto function has set airflow coming through the vents, press the mode button. Press mode repeatedly to select from the following choices. Air will flow from center and side vents, Air will flow from center side and foot outlets. Air will flow mainly from foot outlets. Air will flow from the defroster and foot outlets. In hot or humid conditions, a visible mist may be seen coming from the vents. This does not indicate a malfunction. If you press the upper vent button, an indicator light will illuminate and the air flow against the driver's and passenger's upper body becomes gentle. In this mode, Air from the center vents flows straight and upward so as to control the temperature of the cabin without blowing air directly on the passengers. Press the button again to turn this feature off. To recirculate air inside your vehicle, press the air intake control button and an indicator light will illuminate. This helps AC efficiency and helps block outside odors from entering the cabin. Press again to draw in fresh outside air. When the air intake button is pressed for more than two seconds, indicator lights will flash twice and the air intake will be controlled automatically. Please be aware that if the front window defroster switch is on, the air recirculation feature will not activate. Allowing outside air to enter the vehicle further improves defogging performance. The fan speed control regulates fan speed at various settings. Turn it to the left for slower speed, to the right for higher speed, Press the off button in the center of the knob to turn the system off. When you use these controls, the automatic climate control will turn off. To return to automatic climate control, press the auto button. Press the AC button to turn the air conditioning on. An indicator light will illuminate. Press again to turn off. To defrost or defog the front and side windows, press the front defroster button. The indicator light will illuminate. Airflow will be directed to the front and side windows. The AC activates automatically. This helps dehumidify the cabin and clear the windshield faster. However, if you wish to turn the AC off, simply press the AC button for approximately two seconds. If your vehicle is in dual mode, switching on defrost will automatically revert to driver control so both sides of the windshield will defrost evenly. Turn the driver's side temperature control to a setting that will best meet weather conditions. For windshield de-icing, your temperature selector should be turned to maximum heat. Also, using the manual fan control, turn your fan speed to high. As soon as possible after the windshield is cleared, press the auto button to return to auto mode. The system will return to your previous settings. To defrost or defog the rear window and, if so equipped, the outside mirrors, push the rear window defroster switch. The indicator light will illuminate. After defrosting, push again to turn off. If not turned off manually, 
This feature will deactivate in a period of time.